Hey everyone, Dawn here with Dawn's question of the day. Guys, welcome to another edition of DQOTD. It's a brand new week and a brand new month of questions. Some very interesting ones. Hopefully you'll find them interesting. Let's get into it, guys. Guys, today's question was as easy as looking at your right hand. Uh, today's question, on your right hand, for control purposes, science purposes, right hand only, uh, is your middle finger longer than your ring finger? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> your middle and your ring finger. Wanting to know if your middle is longer than your ring finger. Guys, let's find out what happened with the results today. And uh, thank you guys so much for participating. Uh, of those that you came, uh, those of you that came into the uh, the store today, and hooked me up with you with your hand. It was a pretty uh, pretty easy question to answer because it was right there in front of you. So let's find out, guys. Guys, of course, the answers today were either yes or no. Yes, my middle finger is longer than my ring finger, or no, it's not longer than my ring finger. Um, interesting results today, to say the least. I don't know, and I did not get to do enough research on this to see, like, the national average or, uh, you know, the scientific average, uh, for who's, who's got the longer, uh, ring finger instead of your middle finger being the, uh, longer finger. So I didn't get to do the research that I wanted to on this. I do have a fact, uh, some facts for you uh, at the end of this video about this question. So hang on to that. While I'm on that subject, please vote on our weekly poll. Just saying, Facebook hashtag DQOTD. DQOTD. Um, so we didn't get to do that, but 98% of you said yes, my middle finger is longer than my ring finger. Now, I'll say, for the most part, this was mostly female customers. Uh, I say customers because I have customers that give me answers at the grocery store that I work at. So this is mostly females. Uh, I don't have a percentage, but it's mostly females that usually come in and answer the question. Uh, but there were some males in there too. Um, but I don't know that the, the sex would matter uh, as far as how one would answer this. So, um, so 98% of you said yes, and then of course 2% of you, not very many, I'll tell you that, said no. So it sounds like for the most part, our little middle finger there uh, is the longer digit on our right hand. And I, like I said, I went with the right hand because we went, we needed a control. So I, that's a control, right? <laughs> It's the best control I could do, so there we go. Um, so yeah, there's that. These facts that I found out about this question. Index finger, uh, if your index finger is longer than your ring finger, it means that in the womb, when you before you were born, uh, in the womb you had a higher exposure to testosterone. Uh, and then ring fingers that are longer than your index finger, so the one that's right by your middle and your uh, um, ring finger. Uh, those fingers had a higher exposure to estrogen. So your uh, if the ring finger was longer than your index finger, higher exposure to estrogen. And that was from InsideScience.com if you wanted the reference. I think, I don't know the year on that study or whatever, so. Don't ask me, because I don't know. I basically just Googled it. There you go. <laughs> so, of course, I was of the yeses, too, obviously. Um, so, I don't know. I wanted to do this question because I thought, well, maybe I'll get some interesting results, and we'll have a lot of people that will have uh, longer ring fingers. But that didn't happen, guys. So, I don't know what, I don't know what to say. Comment below if you have information or if you read an article or if you can find anything that is like a national survey or a science survey where they actually did a bunch of people and discovered something with males having longer 
you know, ring fingers or um, even index fingers. There, there's a lot of information that supposedly that you can gather from uh, your digits and how long or short they are. So apparently, so how we know this, I don't know. I'm probably from studies and stuff. Long, exaggerated, very big studies. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. I think I've exhausted uh, this question as much as I could. So make sure you vote on the weekly poll this week. And uh, make sure you like this video up. Like it up, people! And uh, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you think about this question. Let me know if you have any questions that you want featured on Don's Question of the Day. Don's question of the day at gmail.com is where you can do that. Or send me any suggestions or questions that you may have about the show or any anything. Just send it to me. I'm Don. Question everything, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.